Understanding the phrase, the last enemy. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, the last enemy. This phrase has deep meanings and is often used in various contexts. So, let's dive into its interpretation and usage to enhance our understanding of the English language. The last enemy is a phrase with biblical origins. It comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 26 in the Christian Bible, where it refers to death being the final enemy to be defeated. This section will delve into its historical and religious background, shedding light on how this phrase has traveled through time to modern usage. Here, we will dissect the phrase into two perspectives, its literal and figurative meanings. Literally, it refers to death as the ultimate challenge or adversary in life. Figuratively, it can symbolize the last obstacle or challenge in a series that one must overcome. We'll explore examples to clarify these interpretations. The last enemy has been used in various forms of media and literature, often to convey themes of struggle, mortality, or overcoming challenges. This section will highlight a few notable examples, including its use in popular culture, to illustrate how this phrase resonates with audiences. Now, let's bring the last enemy into everyday context. We'll go through several scenarios where this phrase can be aptly used, such as in speeches, writing, or casual conversations. This practical application will help learners incorporate the phrase into their own language repertoire. This phrase carries significant cultural and philosophical weight. In this section, we'll discuss how the last enemy reflects human attitudes towards life, death, and the challenges in between. We'll connect it to broader themes in philosophy and cultural beliefs across different societies. I hope this exploration of The Last Enemy has been insightful and enriching for your understanding of the English language and its nuances. Remember, phrases like this aren't just words. They're windows into history, culture, and deeper meanings. Keep learning and exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.